Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 17 here on Corn Belt or should I say welcome to Corn Belt. This is uh, probably part two of the harvest, uh, the last harvest on this map. Uh, we are switching to another map. I uh, don't know which one quite yet, but uh, ran into a problem. I had all of the combine and stuff, Grease and everything, and uh, Jason and Colin and all of them went through and made sure everything was running right. And I was responsible for putting fuel in them. <laughs> I forgot. So here we are. I had to take a break so, and uh, go through and put a fuel in them. So here we go. We're going to fire that pump up. We got 1,666 liters in it. I'm glad that one's there. Whew. Anyway, I'm going to jump in here and fire this thing up. Put my hood back on so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, I'm putting about 350 liters into each one. Well, all those up there didn't need that new Holland there needed a little bit, and uh, but these two here are really down low. So I want to stop about 350 and see where that gives us. But uh, this segment will be. Uh, uh, portion, I guess you can say. I want to do uh, jumps in it, and uh, yeah, and I had to buy a old Ford to pull this thing because I done sold all the other vehicles. All right, that should do it right there. And I know I'm getting in on the wrong side, but it'll be all right. This is down to like one thirty, but um, yeah. Uh, Let's get some of these started, shall we? This and here is going up and down. And uh, let me get this uh, this one right here ready. And I'll probably done put over the fuel in that one, but uh, it'll be all right. I can say we're gonna be. I'm gonna be doing some. Uh, jump cuts. Uh, what that means is, uh, I'll probably record this a, a few minutes, and then uh, after that, oh yeah, 500 liters. We'll, we'll stop right there. Um, okay, everybody should be ready. I need to go this way. Um, turn on the harvester. And hire a worker. Oh, back this way. Go ahead and hire a worker. This guy on? Yep, he's on. One, do that one not. Oh, field protection. Or detection, not protection. Well, in that case, I'm just going to go ahead and cut up to about right. Oop. And back up out of the way. I should go ahead and get all these going around and around, but I didn't, so. But yeah, you can see, I'll, I'll show you the edge of the map here in a minute. Oh, got to start motor. I got to turn that fuel trailer off, too. I'll do that here in a second. I don't know if I can start... Okay, he's going, so I'm going to go ahead and turn him around. I got to move that red one out of the way so these guys can go ahead and go around their circle. But uh, I did make our way around the map. We got two trucks, or maybe three trucks, two trailer trucks and a bob truck full. I was wondering when it's going to do that. Uh, let's see here. Shut this motor off. 
and that's M on the keyboard. I'll move this truck out of the way. I know they'll probably be needing some fuel again, but hopefully 300 and something liters will, will do. Alright, uh, wrong tractor. I need this one. I need it to. Uh, actually, I probably need that other one to follow them. This one's supposed to be for the red one, so we'll uh, just take it on down here. I'm probably right in here. But look at the path we're taking, though, folks. That's a big path. There's our three trucks we got to haul off. We'll do that here in just a minute. Um, I want to get this one in position. Uh, when it gets to the end here, we're just going to unload. That way it'll be out of the way. And the others can continue their path. But, uh... We'll get this one when it comes back down this way. Our red one should be almost there. I don't know if I showed you this last time we did trade this. It's a little bit different than the other case. There's the CVX 380. I love it. I really do, folks. Uh, let's see here. This is the one I need right now. You can see the others are a little behind. We are going to have to separate them also because they're a little too close together. But, um, we're going to unload this, get these combines turned going that way, and um, we'll jump cut to a different scene because I don't want to take up all the time on this episode. I want to try to get some of it cut and to show y'all different places here and there. And then, um, yeah. All right. R to unload. Let's get back to her. Yeah. Wait, let's see. We got Donna, Junior, Bama Girl, Amy on these three. And uh, I don't know who was on the red one. I forgot to look. But they're kind of spaced out. These two are. But that last one. Is one I probably need to stop a little bit. Let's see here. Let's go back this way. Sorry about all the beeping and all that. I want to make sure I get this I like her little water fur I made there. That's pretty neat. I, don't know, I might get this combine go in a circle. Nah, I'd rather go up and down, up and down. I'm going to get this one on follow me. And probably follow the last combine. And, uh,. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to follow these three here with this grain cart and probably jump back in when it gets full. And, um, let's see, let me go ahead and get this on, on follow me real quick and we'll jump over. Now this is probably going to be a little long video because I'm planning on putting a lot of uh, jump cuts in it. Um, probably about a good 30 minutes to 40 maybe. Since uh, this is actually going to be on Sunday's episode uh, for about 11.30, if not, for about, yeah, it's probably going to be an 11.30 episode, and no Oregon Springs today. Uh, we're going to do Sunday with Corn Belt. I need to be going this way. 
Yeah, see how they kind of collide right there a little bit. Which, as long as they're back far enough, they'll be fine. As long as they don't get hung up. And I want to catch this kind of mine, the red one, every time. Uh, yeah, I want to stop hissing this a little bit. Kind of slow it down just a little bit there. And maybe that will work. See, uh, we got Jamie on that. And, all right, I'm gonna get this one going, and we'll go do the trucks real quick, and then we'll cut. Um, I really don't know where to send. There we go. Hop out and run over here. I want to uh, sell this stuff right away, but I do want to get a good price for it. Uh, ooh, let's see. Really? The train right now is the best price? Okay, we can we can load it on the train. I'll take it to the to the shop, drop it off. Um Alright folks, I guess I'm gonna I do have a route here somewhere. Um what are these fields? Forty eight and forty nine and 50 offload so that'd be one I use and uh let's see where that starts at um that's way up here what I probably have to do is do a uh uh, a second course merge two courses together and make one from back there where we was you know right, right up here down to here because way it looks it don't start to right here and a uh, truck will come back to there so when we get right here it won't be no problem it'll be easier uh, see me right there coming on the map so nearest course and uh, be about right here so drive course Whoa, 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 stop driver. Um, I think I was going too fast and it missed the course. Let's do this again. Stop at the last. All right. Well, there we go, folks. Um, I got a couple more to do. And uh, all I want to do, I'm just going to get right over here and start it from here. And, uh, We'll be good to go. So I'm going to have to empty those combines here in a minute. So I will be right back and uh, have some more footage for y'all here in a minute. Okay. I'm just going to do uh, that and that. All right. I will be back in a second. Just want to show y'all up here at the very, uh, what would this be, north corner. Oh, we got Donna flashing. To go see. Let's be full. Uh, showing 82% on our, our uh, glance mod up there. But uh, yeah, they're getting this corner knocked out. And uh, I'll say one more pass around. We'll be able to get one of them off the regular route and go ahead and get that corner knocked out and that would be uh, better on me than try going back and forth uh, just emptied into a truck all this and doing that let's do uh, let's see got time on that 
I moved these trucks up and a couple was back there. You can see how far we done got. Pretty good distance. Um, parked the truck down here on this end. Down about a 48 there. And these two are on this route now. The regular, uh, what is it, the 48, 49, 50 route I had. Uh, we do have a couple more over on the other, as you can see here. These guys still doing that. Um, I did get the train down here. I'm going to show you all this real quick so I can start filling. That's uh, 300,000 liters of canola that we done harvest. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start loading the train up. So I'm going to do some more harvesting. And folks, I will be back in a second, okay? So there will be a lot of cut screens. I just want to bust in here for a second and tell y'all I kind of cut it down a little bit here. See which way he's going to go. I need I'm going the wrong way. I need you to go the other way. Well, we're kind of getting in the short roads, but then again, we're not. Uh, as we get over that way that end goes down that way further so oh you are full um been busy folks <laughs> this canola's done better than I thought uh done sent two more trucks off I believe and auto save would catch me but I'm recording But uh, I figure I just uh, kind of move that way a little bit more and just cut a strip down right there and let them go around, knock a little bit of it off, and then because I'm getting slim on trucks up here. Uh, yeah, uh, let's see here. I don't know why this guy stopped here for, but okay. Stop driving. I guess he couldn't go across the scales. But he wasn't quite full, but uh, full enough, so I went ahead and sent him. This guy takes a while. And this guy's going. Um, yeah, this guy's almost close enough. Uh, I'm just going to let him be for right now. And uh, update on the train. Is that hundred percent? Yes, it is a hundred percent. So we're going to move up. Um, three cars done filled up. Whoa, Nelly, there we go. 89,383 left, which we're emptying out. Did that one truck there that should have done been dumped. Let's see here. Make sure these guys go. Uh, that's what I thought. He's going to try to sneak across. Not quite. Let's just see if they're going to go this way. Come on. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. All right. I need a green cart. Let's get this one. We gotta go into our red combine. But yeah, uh, it's going pretty good. I'm just trying to get this end tapered down to where I'll be on the regular route there. Let's see if I can bust up behind this end and then make a big old U turn. Catch him before he gets to the end there. I'll be alright. And come on, go further. Right there, good. Got you. Um, need this in here. I don't know why that having this auger sticked out. 
uh, come around that curve down there and it's been doing it ever since I fix it where uh, I can't tell if he's full or not but I can look at my inspector up there and stuff and see uh, I see two two guys are blocked uh, probably down there on that corner I'll go see real quick Um, now well, they're not blocked. Oh, this one's trying to. Oh, no, you don't. No, 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 no. We're not going to shoot across. We're going to finish this little patch right here up. I gotta go check on the truck. It might be the truck's blocked. I'm not for sure. There we go. You're fine, you're fine. I'll catch you in a minute. He's definitely good. Let's go check our trucks. Yep, this one right here. Drive course. Stop at the last. And I don't see no other trucks. He's almost through the shop. This needs to go ahead and go. Uh, no course loaded, okay. We can do that. We'll scroll down to this NR, new routes, what that stands for. And this one right here. And drive course. Stop at the last. Alright. Back to our train. 100% again, so we gotta go to another car here. So I usually use this when I get out of the range where I can't see when it says starts filling. Right there, the second one from the top of the great box. Okay, 33. Oh, yeah, we're gonna need more canola on that. Uh, we was 100%, wasn't we? Yes, 100%. Okay. Uh, this in here might not be a hundred percent. We'll have to redo it. That's gonna help out. Yeah, I need to catch this one. As you can see, I'm in the, uh, that super mode there. But um, yeah, I, I'm gonna be back just a little bit, folks. I'm gonna get this block here cut out and get them going back on this side here, and then I'll catch you back in. Be back in a second. All right, folks, this is what we got left of 48, 49, 16, 61. As you can see, we're down to about basically the middle. And uh, starting to get a little cramped. Um, I can't remember what, how many trucks have done seeing. I just know there's a lot of canola, folks. Um... I'm probably going to do one more cut, and that's when we get finished with this field. Um, Sunflowers is up next, but I really wanted to start beans, but we need to get our sunflowers out because they are next. I'll show y'all real quick. As you can see right there, sunflowers next, and then soybeans. And, uh,. I'll about get this on. As you can see, we got rain every day of the week. It's just, it's just crazy, folks. Um, I had to refill one or two of them. And this guy's eh, doing kind of okay. I don't know where I put the grain buggy for him. He might make it back around. Let this guy cut another square off here so it won't be so cramped. Um, all of them's growing in circles except for this, and then he's just a regular worker. Uh, works out pretty good that way. Yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and get him when he, he don't quite need it, but I like to try to keep him empty. 
Let's go check on our train real quick, shall we? Uh, yeah, here we are. And it is 100%. We'll pull up. That way we'll see how much we got. And what is it? 810,000 liters that's in there now, where it looks. My eyes ain't playing tricks on me. I got 258,000 in here. So yeah, that's the update on that. And I guess I'm gonna get back with it, folks. Uh, I gotta get a buggy up here to get him. I don't know why he's got his auger out. Colin Jordan, Mr. Gangy. And oh yeah, I was gonna grab him. There's another buggy somewhere. Well, I've been bringing the trucks up out of the field and catching her out. So, uh, everything's been doing pretty good. So, I will be back in the flip. Alright, as you can see here, we are at the very tail end. And, uh, I was trying to get everybody empty. I'm fixing to run the case. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh man, I missed it. Back up, back up, back up. Okay, you can stop. Uh, case is empty. It's a little more. We hire him. Like that. Um. Yeah. So, uh, I'm gonna finish this up. And, uh, go get the uh, case. And get a corn head on it so we can do the sunflowers. I'm just gonna go see if it's ready. Uh, that'd probably be on the next episode, so I'm not for sure. So I will be right back, alright? Alright, everybody. As you can see, it is pretty late. Um, yeah, I get the old truck up here. The fuel tank's out of fuel, but I don't really want to get fuel right now. Um, let's go through it. I did, uh, when I took the combines up to the store to get the headers, I went ahead and filled up up there by the fuel station with the truck set in the distance. A little over full. <laughs> that, and then, uh, this is not quite so much. And then our case is, uh, about half. But our sunfires are not ready, folks. Not ready. Um, maybe tomorrow. Um, also, you can see we got rain tomorrow. So, um, go ahead and show you the other stuff. Uh, got everything lined up and ready. Our semi trucks are up here. All set for one. It's down here at Denton Bakery. 67,285 canola. Uh, this is the next highest price. And there's our other truck. And then we're going to go to the train. I got down here at Maple, uh, what's it? Uh, Maplefield Mill. This in here. Um, I was looking at some fires earlier, but it's actually this in here. It's still our highest. But I see where our sun is going to be going. That or didn't. I hope I ain't didn't. We might go to this Maplefield Mill. A thousand eight, a thousand and eighty-three dollars. Uh, I want to save my game before something happens. I ain't saved it in a while. And also, I want to show y'all the map here real quick. Come on, load, baby, load. I got about a minute left. Um, as you can see, 48, 49, 60, 61's all been harvested. And our crew's up here at 47. You see where it gets short rows right here? From there to here down is sunflowers. And that's what we're going to harvest next. And then there'll be our beans, which would be filled 50. This light green, or this green here, the green here. And then we go down to here, over to here, up. We got this little patch, and then we got this all down through here. Not 32, but 33, 35, 34. 
So that will be on the next episode. Will be the sunflowers and hopefully getting into the beans. Um. Well anyway, let's go sell the crops and uh, make us some money. I might fast forward this part right here. I'm not for sure, so if you don't hear me talking for a little bit, I forgot to fast forward. All right, what do y'all think about that, folks? And unloading here. And huh, maple field mill went down to 652. Wow. Well, that's where it goes. It wasn't a great demand, you know. Great demand, the price would stay the same. Uh, this truck's unloading, and then uh, folks will be through with this episode. So I want to say thank you all for watching. Um, we still got maybe one or two episodes to go where it looks. Um, the Sunfire shouldn't take that long. I'll probably uh, do the like I did this and this uh, individual leaves. That way y'all can see it pieces by piece. Alright, there's it. I don't know why I should it all for. But anyway. I uh, appreciate all the love and support and, and the comments and everything, folks. I really appreciate y'all. Y'all are wonderful, awesome people. And uh, I think I'm going to let this thing sit here till it gets dark. I'm going to fast forward to the next day, and now I will see y'all in the next episode. So y'all have a, a great day, a blessed day, and I will see y'all later.